I'm Sydney Maynard. I'm a freshman at Hitchcock Tiller High School, and today I'm doing a presentation on sports injuries. The five most common sports injuries include ankle sprains, groin pull, hamstring strain, shin splints, and other knee injuries. Ankle sprains. An ankle sprain occurs when the ligaments around the ankle stretch farther than they were originally designed to. Um, there's three grades of ankle sprains. The first one is grade one, which is very mild. It's just slight tearing of the ligament. Um, grade two is moderate. It's partial tearing of the ligament. So you have to stay off of it for a while, but it'll probably be okay. Grade three is very severe. It's complete tearing of the ligament. So you can see in the picture here, you can see where the um, ligament is and kind of what it looks like when it's bruised. Then we have a groin pull or a groin strain. It happens when there's too much stress on muscles in your upper thigh. It happens very common in sports that require a lot of running and jumping, like the picture here. You can see they're playing soccer. It causes pain inside the thigh and like anytime you move your legs really. And this also has uh, three degrees of severity. Uh, first degree is mild pain. It's just a little bit loss of movement. Then we have second degree. It's moderate pain. You lose some strength. Third degree is very severe pain. So you have to stay off of it for a while and it might be a complete muscle tear. Then we have the hamstring strain. It occurs when one or more of the muscles in the back of the thigh are injured. And you can see in the picture here the three muscles in the back of your thigh. Um, it can be a pull, a partial tear, or a complete tear. It causes swelling and bruising. And depending on how bad or severe your injury is, you might have to get surgery. Next we have shin splints, which is also called media tibia stress syndrome. You can see in the picture here where your tibula is and then where your shin pain is because it is pain along the tibia. It's common in runners, runners tennis players, gymnasts, and dancers. Um, it can also just happen in anyone who increases their training routines or made them harder. Next we have in knee injuries. Uh, the most common ones are ACL tear, fracture of the kneecap, kneecap dislocation, strains and sprains, or a torn meniscus. In the picture here you can see where each of these may occur. This is a pie chart of the common outcomes after an injury. So the big purple here is strains or sprains. It's very common. It happens in basically every sport. Then we have fractures here in the blue, bruises and scrapes green, uh, concussions in this teal color, and others orange. And then here are pictures of people getting their ankle sprained. This is the estimated number of injuries per year for each sport. So as you can see, the football is leading, mostly because it's a full contact sport. Injuries are way more likely to happen. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about sports injuries and what can happen during each of them.